As they say, our skin is at the mercy of many forces as we age, the sun, the weather, and bad habits. As we get older, the epidermis loses lipids. Not me lipids. The lipids, the fatty substances that keep skin moisturized, further contributing to the wrinkle problem. Now, prevention is key to minimizing wrinkles. Today, I am going to share with you this little um, discovery I've had for a little over three months now. So I have been using this olive oil and sugar scrub and I am loving the results so far. So as you can see in my face, maybe it's a good lighting as well. So this homemade sugar scrub is super easy and cheap. We can actually find these ingredients in our pantry or in our kitchen. To prepare our mixture, I'm using this only for my face, so I'm preparing a smaller mixture. If you want to use it for your body, you can make a bigger mixture. So I'm going to use 1 8 cup of white sugar and half of 1 8 which is 1 16th of olive oil. You have to mix it well with the sugar. Stir everything with a spoon. Now you can feel the scrub between your fingers. If the scrub is too coarse and grainy for you, stir in some more olive oil. Now if it's too liquidy, add in more sugar. Now with this one, it's a little drier, so I'm gonna Add a little more olive oil. Yep, that is good for me. So I have now here our mixture, and all we gotta do is scrub this paste on your skin. Oui. Forgot to put some. I'll just probably have to clean the floor later. Get to move a little bit here. Okay. So, scrub this paste on my on your face. Mm. You dampen your face a little bit, so it's easier to spread the scrub or the paste. Okay, I have. Oi, oi. Now scrub the paste on your face. It, it removes all the toxins and gives you a natural glow. You can also use this scrub on your elbows and knees to brighten the dark areas. Sugar scrubs are a way to gently exfoliate dead skin to reveal beautiful skin underneath. Adding water as you exfoliate will help the scrub spread more easily. Some people use almond oil. I have not used it, so I can't say anything about it. We use olive oil at home for cooking, so that's what I am using with my scrub. Online information says you can use white sugar, brown sugar, or salt. White sugar is suitable for dry skin. If you have sensitive skin, you can try castor sugar or brown sugar. Castor sugar, which I have never heard of until now, is a super fine sugar, while brown sugar is similar to the granulated white sugar. It's a sucrose sugar product with a distinctive brown color due to its presence of molasses. The brown sugar will be much gentler on your face due to its smaller grains, due to its smaller granules. 
It is also a natural humectant, so it helps draw moisture into your skin. Last time I used the brown sugar, I didn't like it much. I don't know, it was just harder for me to apply. It thickens quicker, and like this white sugar. Some people says fine sea salt makes for a great friction-free scrub. Just replace the sugar with the same amount of salt, but I haven't tried the salt scrub, so I can't say for sure. I have been using white sugar for a little over three months now, except last time, which I used the brown sugar. And I could say I prefer the white sugar compared to the brown sugar. Although too much olive oil and sugar may be bad for your stomach. Let me get I forgot I have this, <laughs> so I'm using it now. Okay, let's do this on our neck. Although too much olive oil and sugar may be bad for your stomach, but together they are wonderful for the skin. Sugar helps exfoliate your skin while olive oil helps moisturize it. The olive will also help lubricate your skin and protect it against the harsh grains of the sugar. Not every sugar scrub will be suitable for your skin. However, you will need to make adjustments depending on what you will be using it for. Others add essential oil to make their scrub smell nicer. Personally, I don't. Although we have quite a few selection of essential oils, but I prefer to light an aromatherapy candle instead. If you're adding citrus juice or spices to your mixture, please do not apply it to your face. Do not apply it to your face. If you want to make a bigger batch, that is no problem because sugar scrubs are self-preserving so they do not need to be refrigerated. Just make sure you store the scrub in a cool, dry place. It's best to use them within one year. However, if you added citrus juice into your scrub, it will only last one week out of the fridge and two to three weeks in the fridge. This is because citrus juice is perishable and again, if, if you want to add citrus juice or spices to your mixture, please do not apply those to your face. I so love this scrub. You should try it too to get that glowing skin. And of course, exercise regularly and eat plenty of healthy foods. And don't forget to smile. It will make you look younger. And if you like this video, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've tried it, please let me know. I usually do it in the bathtub, so it saves me time in cleaning after all this mess. That means you can't be with me too when I do that. <laughs> uh, it feels so good, guys. I'm already feeling it. Like there's a, a ton of dead skin that's been lifted off my face. I wish somebody's doing it for me right now. So all I do is just lay down here relaxing with my eyes closed. It feels so good. And you can also just use this scrub. Apply this to your hand. And finish it off with your favorite facial wash. There you go. And all you have is a very smooth and glowing skin. Okay guys, so that's our olive oil and sugar scrub video. So I hope you will try it and you let me know when you do. Thanks for watching. Until the next video. Bye bye.